going to be a, fair, a fairy fire consumed. Pylai die. Now goes for the Ancient Deny. Sexy Bambo left to his own devices. Neutral kill onto the IO. Sexy Bambo cannot make it to the Roshan. So Iceberg ends up getting the first blood. Bone 7, not too happy about that. But I don't think they'll rotate mid now. Bone, Bone 7. seven. He's going to get stunned up right there. There is going to be some lockdown, and, well, the superior stuns of Vega come in handy. Now, Pylai die, Ouch. taking a couple slaps, but he'll be fine. Yeah, a little wisp trying to do it. Lane Bambo. They're going in. They want the puff. Mag trying to get himself out of this. Tries he's to go and so. bloodlust himself, but he's just going to take a swat there. Bambo lives to see another day. I thought for sure he was going to be dead there. Yeah, close call for sure, but well played by the Meepo. Good earth binds, and now Bambo gets healed up by the wisp as he finds the free rune here at the four-minute mark. A little blueberry. For the energy ball, stun mid lane, falls short on Bone 7, Iceberg. Now gets a few love taps back, but it looks like everyone will survive for now. More rotations on the way, Kaipi with both their supports on the low ground. Some wards coming down, both teams with wards in the same area. Radiant <laughs> drop a sentry, we'll see if they can get the ward. Iceberg comes stunning in, and Pylai oh. die will fall. The ward still standing, Bambo trying to secure this kill, glimpse back. Sand King in a lot of trouble, now even Sing Sing joining the party. They'll be able to right-click him down, and FNG with no choice but to back up, and this Dire Observer will fall. No Vega not getting the better of that one. Oh, that's a kinetic field and an Earth Bind. Nowhere for the chubby Ogre to go. Four heroes on one. The double Meepos make it an easy kill. The Coon getting credit for that one. Three to three, the five-minute mark. Yeah, I mean, Ogre's tanky. Ogre likes to stay back and do his own thing. But when you've got 3-3 rotating this early on, able to go and find his levels, he's already level 7 yep. at five and a half minutes in. Very nice work from him, splitting up in uh -oh. the lane and the jungle. And now uh -oh. Nitrogen gets burned alive. That Icicle uh, just turns right to Liquid. And now Sexy Bambo going to get chained in place just briefly with the glimpse back. Means Oracle does not get yeah, no, just I so you guys know. And now AA down bottom. Looks like there's going to be a deep dive. Bone 7 slamming away. Look at these TP rotations. Three of them pouring in. Oh, I think Bone 7 might be fresh out of luck here. The IO trying to get something done. Doesn't have that relocate. Only level 5. So this Huskar is just scooting his boot as fast as it goes. There is the Chrono available if she wants to leap forward. Ooh. Oh, there's the Chrono just right on the edge. They have the lockdown there. There is going to be that Fortune Zen to keep him in place. He's going for the TP. Do they have the damage? They do. He does end up popping down. Nicely Thanks, Sand King. Purifying flames right there. Oracle. Team charges in the magic wand, but if he lets himself get a little bit too low, there are a lot of stuns, a lot of catch on Vega. It looks like there is going to be only level 5 on AA. He needs that level 6. He wants that Ice Blast, focusing on farming rather than diving in. Meanwhile, in the back lines, there is going to be a nice little stun there from Iceberg going in with the Borrow Strike. There's going to be the Ice Blast connecting. As a, okay, Oscar that is, dies. Nicely yeah, done with the False dead. Promise. FNG survives. Oh my, he will end up going down. Huskar has the damage, gets credit for the kill. It's still nicely done by Vega. They delay it, and they get much better exchange there. Huskar does finish off the tower before that fight starts, maybe tipping the scales for Vega just a oh, bit more. Now Meepo back comes in. in. Sing Sing not going to get caught up by this one. The Chrono connecting onto two. Meepo, he's ready to turn this. He's ready to fight back in. But who's their target? They jump in. They will get the kill on the Oracle. The Wisp is somehow still alive. They get the net. G wants to leap away. They're turning this onto Iceberg, who's channeling up his ult. But it does get canceled. They are able to get it done with the net. And that means there's going to be two dead. Fallen down. Triple kill. 433. Fantastic playing from the Meepo. Of this game, Kaipi, they want to keep it upbeat. Now that the Meepo's got a good start, they've got all these great ganky potential heroes. They want to find kills. They find G right now with the Moonlight Shadow trapped inside the sexy Bambo static storm kinetic field. They find the follow up and Io actually taking credit for that one. Nice gank on the high prize faceless void. Doesn't get better than finding the position one in the jungle. Yep, but now they rotate back. There's going to be the relocate ending just in time for uh -oh. Iceberg. Can they get the glimpse off? They got Bambo here. Does he have the range? He does. They're going to bring him back in. Oh, goodbye, little buggy. He's going to get healed up by the Oracle. See for the Slayer doing what he can, but there's the Meepo to come in. Rip apart the Oracle. They're turning things onto Mag now. All he wants to do is Ding Ding, but unfortunately, wow. he will drop to the grave. They trade their Huskar, but they get four in return and some free pressure onto this Tier 2 tower. Yeah, it's starting to... That's it. His impact, minimal, and now they have nothing to deal with this Meepo. Sure, Ice Blast connected on Huskar there. They were able to kill him in the fight, Boy. but they still have nothing for the Kuhn. Even a Chronosphere down. Oh, the Glimpse! Where's They're able to get it off. There is going to be a nice Ice Blast, but Nitrogen's going to pay with this life. There will be a relocate back, keeping the Meepo safe. They're back at base. They're doing what they can, and well, they all leap to get their regen. Io does have to come back into this. I get him Scepter. Uh, he's just got stats for days. There's no way you can stop this guy. He's going to have two lives on top of having like four full meeps ready to go. Now there is going to be the channel coming back up. They got the smoke. They are going to get the jump. Looks like Sing Sing could be in some trouble. There's going to be an Ice Blast to follow up. Hits on no one. 
33 wants to back off. Meanwhile, Bone 7 just gets the green light charging in. The Wisp is doing what it can. Pylai die, trying to overcharge, trying to heal up, but it's not going to be enough. They go, they get the pick off onto two. The blink forward from Meepo means they are able to get something done, but nice burrow strike. Iceberg going in, but they get the static storm to follow up. Sexy Bambo goes through. He gets off his ult, and that's going to be at least one more dying. Iceberg wants to live through this, goes in, tries to get something done. But unfortunately, that means he does have his ogre drop to the ground. So two for three overall, but Meepo getting more and more kills and able to easily hop back into the Roche pit. Yeah, very convincing fight for Kaipi. They did lose a few at the beginning. Nice setup from the Sand King to get the fight. Meepo, even with that really nice stun from the Sand King, the Wisp was there to heal up the weakest one. Meanwhile, on the front lines, Bambo in deep, clipped by the ult from the Ancient Apparition. Pylai Dai won't be able to save him here. Getting brought low by the Oracle. Will survive. Now Meepo on the way in. Sing Sing oh. already starting the fight. Seoma the Slayer will fall to the wrath of the miners as they find yet another godlike streak continues. 9-0-4 on the Meepo. Bone 7, please have mercy. All he wants to do is farm. They bring in the Meeps, and I don't think G lives through this one. They're going to get surrounded upon in the top lane. There's a bit of a bait going on. Oh, the Chronosphere. He's not able to re-engage off this, but he might just get out with his life. Meanwhile, in the top lane, there is going to be the Fire Blast coming in as Sing Sing dies. So four heroes are able to get the job done for Vega, but now there is going to be the rest of the Radiant Squad. G. Who do they find here? A little bit of fragmentation going on as G's still burning on the back lines. We do have that kinetic field coming forward. The Setic Storm to lock down Seam, but there's nothing he can do. Oh, golly. Poor Mag. There's not much anything can get Bone done. Both seven. seven. He's in some serious trouble. Going to get locked in place. We'll end up blasting down Seema. Will end up falling down to the Huskar. Just too much damage put out, but at least he's able to take him down with him. Now Meepo throw nets out left and right, focusing on multiple targets. FNG. Oh, the poor little Icicle. I don't think he's able to live through this one. He's just so squishy. Beyond godlike streak. Still rocking out for the Meepo. He's still got his Aegis going for him. His G. He can't leap back. He's underneath his tier fours. Icebergs just dancing there, sandstorming up, but Pylai die. There'll be this little sacrifice, but nice yeah, trade. You, you can't kill Meepo. He finds the Wisp, but yeah, starting to feel like they have nothing to deal with Meepo. This is going to be fantastic. He's able to blink himself away. There's the glimpse falling through, and oh my golly gee, Huskar shows no mercy. There's going to be an Ice Blast. Does connect onto all the Meeps. Nitrogen's still alive. Maybe they're going to kill on the Meepo. they got to pick one to focus down. Meanwhile, Bone Seven sitting there, ready to charge. They know as soon as the Chrono <laughs> ends, he is just going to fly at you. Kaipi with no remorse oh for their crimes. I, I like I liked Iceberg's positioning that fight. They're like in the Chronosphere and the Sand King is just back here standing, just watching from afar like, I don't have an ult. I can't really auto attack him. I think it, that was the most demoralized Sand King I've ever seen. Just like, I think we lost. I'm pretty sure me throwing my life away one more time does not change the state of this game.